Hey Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So these were sent to me from Born Pretty's Amazon store. Do you remember they had like an Amazon Prime day a while ago? A while ago, sorry. Um, so I got these sent to me. So it's the metallic um, nail polishes and it has some very gorgeous colours as you can see here and they're all 9mm bottles. So the names of them are Dragon Knight, Icy Castle, Heroine, Rose in Peril and Silver Sword. So it does recommend that you use a UV or an LED base coat so that's what I'm going to apply to this swatch stick which I don't normally do um, when I'm using swatch sticks but I am going to with this just because that's what it said. So first up it's Dragon Knight and obviously this is a gorgeous gold metallic now I'm putting this in because <laughs> as you can see it was a dreadful first application and I kept applying more polish because I'm not really used to using normal polishes, I'm used to using gels where you can kind of keep going over it and um, because of that, although at the moment it kind of looked okay, I did all of the swatches of these colours and then came back to them and they'd all had these horrible crinkly lines in them so I think it was because I had applied it too thick so I'm putting this in there just in, in case this information can be helpful. So I tried it again and did much thinner uh, layers and just tried to not overly swipe. And it was a much better finish. Um, you will get to see like line marks in it, like the brush strokes, but don't worry about that because they do, it does dry completely smooth. And I think that's what was sort of throwing me off. I was trying to get those brush strokes out, but you don't need to at all. So you just want to apply sort of two thin coats. They were all opaque in two thin coats. So I'm just going to leave this to dry naturally. And this is going to be how it looks. Isn't it amazing how it transfers to that? So you've got this gorgeous gold metallic. So the next one is heroin or heroin or however you say it. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, but you know what I'm on about anyway. So this is like a gorgeous, almost like lilac metallic. And I've got to say this one is my favorite. But you probably knew that was coming because I have such a love on purples in its many shades. <laughs> um, so this one is Silver Sword. So obviously you've um, got a nice silver metallic or you know it could even be like a chrome look. So I was really glad to have some metallic polishes as I don't really have many in my collection but they are a gorgeous addition to your nail polish collection because I do love the effect of it. So this is Rose in Peril and I would probably describe this as like, um, what is it? <laughs> is it rose gold? Rose gold? Yeah, that's what it is. Couldn't think there for a minute. Um, so yeah, so this is probably it's probably a little bit darker than rose gold, but it definitely could be in the same sort of genre of rose golds. <laughs> so um, finally, we've got this icy castle, um, which is obviously like a nice ice blue metallic look. And again, this one is a lovely, gorgeous shade as well. Trying not to overly swipe. I'm like, leave it alone, Jelly, leave it alone. <laughs> so I thought I would show you um, which top coats to use or not to use. So this is um, my Nail Nails UV top coat, uh, UV LED top coat, and then there's a Born Pretty Mirror Shine top coat as well. So first up, I'm using my Nail Nails gel top coat. I'm just applying a nice thin layer. See how much I go over it with gels? <laughs> Um, and as you can see, it kind of took the effect away from it. The one on the right is with it without any top coat. So uh, it kind of, I, I can't really say how it changes it, but it does. So I wouldn't use a normal gel top coat if you want this particular metallic look. So this is the Mirror Shine Born Pretty one, and this is a normal top coat, so I won't be curing it underneath my lamp. I'm just gonna go on here and wait for it to dry. So as you can see next to the uh, normal sort of one without any top coat, there isn't that much difference, I don't think. I can't really see anything. 
Um, so if you wanted it to last longer, then I would definitely recommend using this type of top coat. So you keep that sort of metallic effect. So here are all the swatches all done. And I only actually applied the mirror shine on this gold one because it did slightly affect it. I really don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera. But it's more like, with the metallic, it's more like, it's not matte, but it's got more of a dull effect. And I think that's the look that I like the best. Um, but the mirror chrome, um, it doesn't change it that much. And I think if you wanted it to last longer, then I would defi definitely recommend using that. Um, so I really hope that you find this sort of review and swatch swatchy swatch video is helpful thank you for checking it out and see you in the next one bye